Central Research Foundation and Parkland College conducted two manipulator trials near Yorkton in 2015. Manipulator is a plant growth regulator distributed by Engage Agro and is now registered for use in Saskatchewan. However, at the time of making this video, the EPA in the U.S. still hasn't established any maximum residue limits for this product. So there's still some marketing issues with the U.S. that need to be overcome. Before you apply this product, make sure you have a market. Not every elevator is necessarily going to accept wheat treated with manipulator. Now, ha having said that, we had some pretty good results with manipulator in our trials. Manipulator is an anti-gibberellin. By reducing gibberellin biosynthesis, it interrupts plant signals involved in stem elongation. The reduction in plant height leads to reduced lodging and often greater yields. Manipulator is safer than other plant growth regulators on the market because it has such a wide window of application. It can be applied from the growth stages known as Zadok 2-1 to Zadok 3-9. So this is essentially from about the four leaf one tiller stage, which is herbicide timing, to the flag leaf stage, which is fungicide leaf disease timing. Unfortunately, the ideal timing is considered to be Zadok 3-1, right in the middle. This is just when plants are starting to bolt and you can detect the first node. The plant in the middle of this picture is considered to be at the ideal stage of Zadok 3-1. The early stage, the herbicide timing stage, Zadok 2-1, is considered to be less efficacious. Manipulator is an anti-gibberellin like we said before, and the major gibberellin production starts at Zadok 3-1 to coincide with stem elongation. Manipulator which is applied early has no efficacy until Zadok 3-1, so by this time some of the product has been metabolized by the plant. So going early is sort of equivalent to applying a reduced rate. Although we have seen good results with other studies going at the flag leaf stage, there is some apprehension about this timing. The fear is that this timing may actually shorten the middle internodes instead of the basal internodes. And this might actually worsen lodging under some severe conditions. So Engage Agro prefers the 3-1 timing followed by the 3-9 timing at flag followed by the 2-1 timing at herbicide. So with those recommendations in mind, let's take a look at what kind of trial results we got. The first trial I'm going to talk to you about looked at three applications, uh, three timings of manipulator by three nitrogen rates. The timings were, well, not putting any manipulator down at all and then Zadok 2-1, that herbicide timing, and then Zadok 3-1, the ideal timing. These timings were then looked at under three nitrogen rates, from 100 to 150 pounds per nitrogen. Basically, I was just trying to create an environment where the plants would lodge. The variety grown in this trial was Unity, which was only rated as fair in terms of resistance to lodging. As you can see from the picture on the left taken on July 24th, the Unity wheat has started to lodge fairly early. You can also see from the picture on the right the application of manipulator is really helping the crop to keep standing. So even at 150 pounds per acre of nitrogen, the early application of manipulator at herbicide timing is doing a nice job of keeping the crop standing compared to the right hand side where no plant growth regulator was applied. There really wasn't any further improvement in lodging resistance by spraying at the Zadok 3-1 stage in our, in our trial anyway. The improvement in lodging resistance also translated into a significant yield improvement of 10 bushels whether the manipulator was applied early or late. Our second experiment, which was conducted on the same field, looked at the relationship between manipulator, wheat variety and nitrogen. We evaluated the impact of manipulator sprayed at that ideal 3-1 timing and we compared varieties with contrasting levels of resistance to lodging. The wheat varieties were Good Eve, which is rated as having very good resistance, and Unity, which is only rated as having fair resistance to lodging. 
Again, these varieties were compared at three nitrogen rates from 100 to 150 pounds of nitrogen. Good Eve was a very Good Eve was very good at resisting lodging, whether it was at 100 or 150 pounds of actual nitrogen. In contrast, even at the 100 pounds per acre rate of nitrogen, the variety Unity was starting to fall down. However, applying Manipulator greatly improved the lodging resistance of Unity. It's really striking, particularly when you look at the plots from above. Have a look at this video I shot. Here you can see the Unity lying down without the application of Manipulator. The next block up at the top of the picture is also Unity, but you can see it's still standing quite well as a result of applying Manipulator. Here we are looking at the lodging ratings that were taken on August 15th. A rating of 1 means that the plant is totally erect and a rating of 9 means the crop is flat to the ground. From these ratings you can see the application of Manipulator has improved lodging resistance in both Good Eve and Unity. However, the improvement is much more in Unity. In the end, the use of Manipulator increased the yield of both varieties. However, the yield increase was greater for Unity, which is making intuitive sense since Unity was suffering more lodging without the application of a plant growth regulator. Applying Manipulator provided a 10 bushel increase in yield for Unity and a more modest 5 bushel increase for Good Eve. The yield increase for Good Eve was somewhat surprising to me as I didn't think the lodging was severe enough to be causing any yield loss at all, but clearly it was. So, in conclusion, the application of Manipulator at either Zadok 2.1 or 3.1 increased the yield of Unity wheat at, by about 10 bushels per acre. But keep in mind, remember other studies have seen reduced efficacy by applying at the 2-1 stage. It's just too early sometimes. Other researchers sometimes have found better results with Manipulator at the 3-9 stage. But again, there's some apprehension about this stage, thinking it may wor worsen lodging under certain severe kind of conditions. It hasn't proven itself over a wide range of conditions like the 3-1 staging has in Europe. So application of Manipulator at the 3-1 stage provided a significant yield increase of 5 bushels even with a variety like Good Eve which didn't seem to be lodging that much. So overall, Manipulator looks like it's a pretty promising product. Just make sure you've got a market for that wheat if you do decide to apply it.